It is late spring at the Orange County Zoo inside Irvine Regional Park. In addition to the animals and exhibits, there are several wild animals found in Orange County's parks that use the zoo grounds to find food, shelter, and raise their young. Earlier this spring, a pair of red-shouldered hawks built a nest at the top of an oak tree in a quiet part of the zoo. After 33 days of incubation, the eggs hatched. The zoo then contacted biologists from the National Audubon Society, who have been monitoring birds of prey in Orange County for over four decades. In order to identify individual birds, Audubon biologists must climb up to the nest and place numbered bands on the red shoulder hawk chicks. We've been doing this as a group in Orange County for about 45 years. Um, I've been with them maybe 25 years, Joe's been with 18 years. And we ban any of the raptors we can reach in the nest. Primarily red shouldered hawks and red tailed hawks, barn owls, and Cooper's hawks. But we also ban great horned owls and white tailed kites. And, and it's a mark recapture study, so we're hoping that somebody will find one of these bands somewhere, um, whether the bird be dead or alive, whatever the reason. Or we may go out and if we locate a bird that's got a band on it, we'll go recapture it and then mark it so we can keep a long-term mark on it. So the reason for taking the bands numbers is we're looking for how long they live. Um, our primary focus is how far away they go from here to breed, what ages they breed, some of the dynamics between them and other birds with breeding. So it's dispersal and phylopetry, the words we're really looking at. Phylopetry being how close you are to where you're born, where you breed. The other thing is the legs are really the first thing to develop. They've got to use their feet. So um, structurally, that leg's full size almost. The toes get a little longer. Uh, so it's never gonna get bigger and the band's not gonna get tight on them. At about two and a half weeks, we can put a band on. We just had to make sure that the leg's not too small to hold the band on. But this bird's just fine. And we don't take any other measurements on these guys because they're it's all going to change anyways so weight doesn't really matter we d quickly just make sure they're feeling healthy and full and got a regular amount of body fat which it does and it's holding its head up good One more The chicks are carefully returned to the nest after being banded. Red-shouldered hawks typically lay anywhere from two to five eggs. This nest has three chicks. Like most hawks, red-shouldered hawks build a stick nest in a tree, often using the same nest year after year. Typically breeding between April and July, the male and the female will work together to build or renovate the nest. A couple of weeks later, the chick's downy feathers are replaced by juvenile plumage. The young do not develop the characteristic adult plumage until they reach autumn of their second year. Red-shouldered hawks eat a variety of prey items, including mainly small mammals, snakes, and amphibians, and occasionally birds, insects, and fish. The young birds will fly about six weeks after hatching. They remain close to the nest and continue to depend on the adults for feeding for at least one month. Fortunately, all three chicks from this nest successfully fledged or left the nest. Be sure to listen for the distinctive call of the red-shouldered hawk while outside enjoying Orange County's parks. <laughs>